Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use time remapping in the loop out expression to extend a looping animation. So if you have a clip that's shorter than the length of your composition and you want to extend it, that's going to solve that problem. I will also show you how to fix that little glitch that you might see if you use time remapping in loop out on a pre-comp. So here I have this looping paper texture animation, but it stops at about a minute and a half. I could make duplicates of this and just drag it down my timeline to extend it like that, but there's an easier way to do so. I'll select this looping paper texture animation, and if I go over here, you can see I cannot extend it any further. So with the layer selected, I'm going to right click or control click, go to time, enable time remapping. After Effects is going to automatically place two keyframes for this time remap property. And now if I come over here, you can see I can now extend that footage. But if I tap the spacebar, it's going to stop the animation at that second keyframe. Now I could extend this. But that's going to really slow down the animation. And I want to keep it the same speed. So adjust the keyframes to the speed you want. Then come over to the time remap property. Press the Option key on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, and click on the stopwatch for the time remap property. That's going to allow you to type in an expression, and the expression we're going to use is loop out. Lowercase l, o o p, capital O, u t, open and close parentheses, just click off, drag the playhead back to the beginning, press the space bar. Now you see that animation is looping endlessly. Cool. And now I'm going to show you how to fix that little glitch that you might see if you try to do the exact same thing on a pre-comp or a pre-composition. So first I'm just going to turn this into a pre-comp by right clicking or control clicking. I'm going to go to pre-compose. I'll check this option, leave all attributes, just I'll keep it in the same composition here. Now we'll do the exact same thing. So I'm going to select the layer, right click or control click, go to time, enable time remapping. That's going to add the two keyframes. Now I can extend the pre-comp as long as I want. I'll press Option on a Mac, Alt on Windows, and click on the stopwatch for time remap. We'll type in the expression loop out, lowercase l, o o p, capital O, u t, open and close parentheses, click off. I'll press the space bar. Everything looks good. Oop, there's a little glitch I see. If I drag the current time indicator, you're going to see once it gets that second keyframe, this is a blank or an empty frame. This is the background of the composition. So if I go one frame forward, we have the paper, and one frame backwards, we have the paper. So here is how to fix this. Go to the second keyframe, and you can navigate between the keyframes by pressing the K key or the J key. So I'll press the K key to go to that second keyframe. So now we're on the empty frame. I'll go back one frame, so I'm going to press Command or Control and tap on the left arrow to go back one frame. I'm going to come over here to the time remap. I'll click on this little diamond to add a keyframe. So I'm adding a keyframe one frame before that empty frame. I'll go to that last keyframe by pressing K. I'll select it and I'll tap on the delete key. And now when I drag the playhead over that second keyframe, there's no more glitch and we have an endless looping animation. So that is how to enable time remapping and use the loop out expression to extend looping animations in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.